Hi, um, Grandma Day here for episode 32 of Stories with Mac. Um, today I'm representing uh, CVTA, it's every Wednesday, and also at our school, um, we're supposed to wear pink, so I got my pink um, pants, um, I guess it's a shout out to Mean Girls, I don't know. Um, anyway, here is today's story, David Gets in Trouble, by David Shannon, it's so adorable. I've already read one of his. Oh, look at this. David gets in trouble. Yikes. Hands on hips and everything. He says, author's note. A few years ago, my mother sent me a book I made when I was a little boy. It was illustrated with drawings of David doing all sorts of things he wasn't supposed to do. And the text consisted entirely of the words no and David. They were the only words I knew how to spell. I thought it would be fun to make a new version celebrating all the time honor, honored ways mom says no. Like the original, it was called No David, the sequel David Goes to School and David found out that his teacher had her own ways of saying no. Well, now it's David's turn to speak and it turns out that no is a big part of his vocabulary too. Of course, when his mom says no, it's because she worries about his safety and she wants him to grow up to be a good person. Deep down, she's really saying, I love you. But when David says no, it usually means I don't want to get in trouble. So it says, when David gets in trouble, he always says, no, it's not my fault. Look at how he has a halo. <laughs> this book is awesome. I, I could tell I read it so many times that some of the pages are coming apart. I didn't mean to. He was riding his skateboard in the middle of the house. This guy. It was an accident. He was playing baseball. He broke a window. Do I have to? He doesn't like runny eggs either. Ugh. I hate them myself. Oh, this one's hilarious. He's walking down the sidewalk with no pants. And he says, I forgot his mom's chasing him. Look, she's carrying the pants. How do you forget to wear your pants? Come on. And we see his underwear. My dog ate my homework. Oh, see, that's worse. There is a dog in that back window. Look, for some homework. Hmm, likely story. I couldn't help it. Look at his face. He's like, oh, this is the, this is it. I can't cross my eyes. Fun fact. I can't cross my eyes, um, but I can do this. Wah, wah, wah. I can't do it the other way though. He says, I was hungry. He's eating dog treats. I did try a dog bone one time. As a kid. Yeah. But she likes it. Um, that cat does not like her tail being pulled. No way. Oh, look at the feet. Sorry, look at the feet. <laughs> no way. No way. Next page. It slipped. Look, he's got his dinosaur chips, some donuts and a big thing of grape juice on the white carpet. Oh no. Let's see. But dad says it, it's like Christmas story. He's got soap in his mouth. He said a naughty word. <laughs> Excuse me. Look at how the flowers are all blown apart. The candle's blowing. No, it wasn't me. Someone got the cake. Look at his face. I think it was him because he has chocolate cake on his mouth. Then when he's in bed, he says, yes, it was me. I did it. 
that so. And he says, I'm sorry. Oh, David. And his mom comes to check on him. I love you, mom. The end. I think, look at, here's a timer. Maybe this is for when all the timeouts he had. <laughs> poor David. Yeah. He's in the timeout chair. Oh, poor David. Haven't we all spent time in the timeout chair? Love you. Have a good day.